hello there god bless you you are welcome to prophetic intercession with amel always an honor to have you back here on this channel and if this is your first time a special welcome to you thank you for clicking on this video i know this is no coincidence i always say that if god leads you here is because he has a message for you through me and always i pray that God keeps you long enough here to, to know why he sent you here in case this particular message is not for you. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So God just impressed this word in my spirit. He says this person was so much of an inspiration to you. This person made you to, to know that actually God exists. They were so much of an inspiration. You felt like if God can do it for this person, then God can do it to me but over time it left from them being an inspiration to them oppressing you you understand what i mean by oppress oppression there is a time where someone stops inspiring you and they start oppressing you you start feeling like you can't do this it started by you thinking if the, if this person can do it then i can do it also it started by you thinking if god can do it for this person he can do it for me as well and now it gets to a point where the person starts flaunting what they are doing or you know it gets to a point where it is no longer inspiration you start feeling oppressed you start feeling depressed when you see the things that are happening to them you start feeling depressed and you look at your life and you say you are not sure that it can ever be done now this is the word of the lord to you the bible says guard your heart with all diligence because from your heart are the issues of life when somebody stops inspired inspiring you and starts oppressing you you've got to give them some space or you've got to give yourself some space when people stop inspiring you and they start oppressing you you've got to give yourself some space because if you do not give yourself some space you're going to start nursing envy bitterness which you do not need so the best thing for you to do is to, because, you know, we all are going through things in life and life is in different stages and phases. Do not, do not look at someone's harvest season when you are in your planting season. Someone can be in their harvest season and if you continually look at them, you know, it starts by you saying, oh yeah, if God can give someone this kind of harvest, I am believing God for my own harvest. But when you are in your planting season for so long and, and the person just keeps harvesting, you start asking yourself a question, um, am I really ever going to have that kind of a harvest? But you forget to know that there are different kinds of plants. You know, if you plant maize, it takes just three months for the maize to mature. But if you're planting things like cocoa, coffee, palm nuts, it's going to take much longer. So you might get this courage because of, of how long you are spending in your planting season. So what you can do to save yourself any kind of pain is that bury your head on your work and stop looking. When anybody stops inspiring you, stop looking at them. Get yourself a new inspiration. Whatsoever will keep you focused on your assignment, whatsoever will keep you focused on your task. And do not forget this. Do not look at someone who is in their harvest season and compare them to you who is in your planting season. We all are in different seasons of our life, different stages of our life. And you've got to know that. You've got to know that so that you can guard your heart with all diligence. Hallelujah. Your time of harvest will eventually come sooner than you, than you expect. Your time of harvest will come. And when the time comes, until that time comes, keep your head focused on your work. Keep on working. Keep on trusting God. Keep on believing. Never you give up. Never you lose heart. God will see you through. But remember, when someone stops inspiring you, when they start making you feel depressed and oppressed, I really think it's okay to give yourself space from such people so you can concentrate on your journey. 
Hallelujah. Did you receive this word with gladness? May the Lord bless you, keep your causes face to shine upon you. May he be gracious to you and give you peace in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. God bless you.